Oh, what's up? Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, I've been, my face has been breaking out as you can see, but I think it's like, I finally started a cleaning regimen and I think this is the, the worst before it gets better. Uh, but, um, <laughs> All of that reminds me of this time that I needed to rem to talk to you all about karma and how it's so real and how being a bitch is never the answer and it's just a story time and I just have to tell you this story. Uh, so, for those of you who don't know, uh, <laughs> I'm rude. I just, I try not to be and I try not to, to make it a part of my identity, but it's me. Like, hi, my name is Chloe and I'm rude. And one of the things Zora knows is that you shouldn't be this way. So let me tell you. So I'm going to tell you a story about my undergrad, um, <laughs> an undergrad story that I just, it, it's <sighs> karma, karma, no more sexy lady in karma. So. I went to Bowling Green State University, Bowling Green, Ohio, go Falcons, unfalconably, the best fucking time of my life. Um, I was there 2005 to 2009. I wasn't one of those 17 year seniors. A bitch got in and got out so much so that like graduation snuck up on me, but I digress. So I want to tell you about this time where I did a really stupid thing and I'm paying for it dearly today. So, um, I don't know she might actually be one of my subbies or might get back to her through some of you all so let her know like I didn't mean and guys I'm sorry I keep looking up at this thing because this kick-ass camera does the little flip up thing kind of like the Dwayne Wayne glasses so I probably should be looking directly at the camera so let me tell you so it must have been my I was already a member of my sorority so it had to be my sophomore year so my school never closed all the way during like it closed down so like you had to get out of the halls but they would have an option open for students who wanted to stay in the dorms over winter break um and I was an RA I was a resident assistant like I loved that whole thing like so that was me so this particular winter break I stayed for a few days because it was like you got paid if you stayed so a bunch of my friends, a bunch of the great people who I kick it with, a bunch of people who were also RAs and the staff that I was on, we all stayed and just played around in the halls while everybody else was gone. So there was this one young lady who is probably the salt of the earth, probably the most sweetest person, God-fearing woman, underneath it all, beautiful individual, but she had this, this thing that I just couldn't... <sighs> she she was so hairy like she was like hairy I'm not gonna even exaggerate that so like she had this beautiful long hair and along with this beautiful long hair she also just grew like long body hair so like the hair on her legs and on her arms like she just and her her model and we were like girl like you know you can like just like nair that off shave that off like do you and she's like you know my mom who i love met my father and she looked just like me he looked past her all her hair on her body so the man who's going to be with me he's going to look past the hair on his body too so i was like all right girl that might have been when uh martin luther king was inspiring man but i don't know what circa 1999 2000s i don't think that's what cash money records was talking about when they said taking over but she's like, no, I'm not going to do it. So along with the long hair on her arms and on her legs, she had the thickest mustache I've ever experienced in my entire life. And I don't know gay shit when I say experience. So this is the story. So, like, she legit had a mustache. She talked about it. We talked about it. It wasn't like one of those, damn, girl, you don't know you got that mustache. But, so... One particular evening, now back full circle, when we were hanging out, she was one of the people who stayed behind and we all kind of hung out in the halls over winter break that time. So we were literally in the hallway and like we were all joking around. She did this one thing and it terrified me. She kissed me on my cheek. And, and this wasn't even me trying to experience my lesbianism. Like that's not even where this was going. But like when she kissed me, it felt like a thousand bristles just swooped across my face. Like... And when I tell you I panicked, I beelined it out of there. So like, 
I went back to my side of the residence hall um, and like the whole time I kept feeling my face like I felt like it was like damaged like like on me and then I started to like feel my face like and I started to think like is this that phenomenon where like you talking to your friends and you got a booger in your nose and they don't tell you type thing or like you know how like you get home and you just look in the mirror and it's a big ass gunk of sleep in your eye and I'm like damn I talked to 74 people and not one of them even motion like hey girl so I'm like oh my god do I have a mustache too and nobody's telling me like what the fuck is wrong with me so what did I do what did I do I dry shaved my entire fucking face. Now people to this day still compliment me on my overall skin. Like I never really get acne. I don't have a whole lot of blemishes or pop-ups until like lately. Um, but I think it's just the stress of my life. Um, and the lack of sex is probably causing some of this. But so I dry shaved my entire face and like everybody's like damn Chloe your face is so clear so I'm like so damn nigga I did have hair on my face nobody even told me that I was walking around here looking like this nobody told me I was out here living my life like that so I was like yes bitch they not about to get you so of course my face boom baby bottom smooth smooth so funny thing about black hair um funny thing about shaving um uh, funny thing uh there's this this epidemic um for coarse hair curly hair uh there's this thing called ingrown hairs so i noticed maybe a month or two after i did that stupid thing where i shaved and i started to get this just a few little bumps do 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 and like every so often there'll be a hair there, so I pick it. Boop, 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 boop. Nothing of it. And you know, then it kind of like started to like migrate a little bit. And then it started to be a little bit of, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, this. So it started to do that, and then it kind of turned into this. And if you know anything about me, like I love the Dr. Pimple Popper videos. I love, I literally sit and make my students and my friends watch where people are like, bah, bah, bah. so this is, this for me was a gold mine. Like, yeah, it's not a cyst or anything, but ooh, get it. So me not paying attention to life, it means just being a dumbass idiot. And now that I literally want millions of you all or the 58 of you all who are subscribing, actually it's 55, you know, but we're gonna get there. The camera's on me. And like at, from here it's like yes bitch but if you happen to catch me at the wrong place at the wrong time you will see that I have fucked myself up karma so now please subscribe please put in the comments on anything that I could do for this because it's definitely all ingrown hair. It's definitely like bearded lady, but like it never turns into much. But like I cannot stop Mr. Crab and playing with it, picking it, pulling it. So now I'm doing exfoliating. I got brushes, I got treatments, I got masks, I got all this stuff. But like it's starting to like peel up here. So I think some of the stuff might be too strong for me. Um, but like it's over here now, it's down here. And like I'm cool like it's still you know luckily for me I don't have a whole lot of neck anyway but like right now it's still down here but like I feel like it's like a skin epidemic I feel like it's growing I feel like I'm touching myself and it's like ringworm is gonna pop up somewhere else um, so karma all because I was trying to be funny and rude about this young lady's mustache that she was proud of me being so vain and so petty and so childish now that a bitch is trying to shine Speaking of shine, this is this is my kitchen. Um, great lighting. Speaking of shine, now look at me. But if you have any skin tips, anything, oh my gosh, girl, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. And like, I know you and I went through a whole lot, and like I don't even think our paths will ever actually cross again. But I should have not been so mean to you. I should have not been so rude to you. I should have not made fun of you about your situation that you were so proud of because now I'm stuck with my situation that I'm not proud of. So Zora's lesson today is karma is a bitch and it's probably a bitch because you were a bitch. 
to go wash my face. Goodbye.